We've been studying blue-footed boobies since the early 1980s on Española in the southeast Galapagos, and we know their history in great detail there. And what we found there is that they had successful breeding until the uh, mid-1990s, and then suddenly stopped. And we hardly see bluefoots anymore on Española. That was the first alert that a problem might exist. We came to find out that many people who work elsewhere in Galapagos have noticed that bluefoots don't breed as much as they used to, and that uh, there seem to be smaller numbers. So these are anecdotal reports, uh, but combined with our detailed evidence suggested that we might have a problem. So we've begun this project that's now a year in to try to identify causes uh, of population decline and to identify in more detail whether we actually do have a decline. We suspect that diet is involved because on Española, when sardines stopped appearing in the diets of the birds there, they stopped breeding. And we had previously linked sardines to successful breeding. So we suspect that something has changed in their diet, but other factors could also be involved. What we found so far from a combination of surveys and detailed work in colonies is that uh, the birds do not have much sardine in their diet, but that doesn't seem to be the complete uh, solution to uh, the issue because they do have some. They're not breeding well at all. In the past year, we've found essentially no successful breeding and very little attempts to breed. So with support from Galapagos Conservancy and their partner organizations, we are trying to get to the bottom of this with a lot of banding work, some uh, mounting of GPS units on uh, foraging birds, diet samples, and some other techniques. And we hope within the next year or so to have some more definitive answers than we have right now.